How did the light turn? I did. There! <laughs> Hello! Hello! Good joining. Hello. 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 Hello? Hello? Wait, guys, watch this, watch this, watch this. Good morning, Gabriel. Good morning, Wanderer. Good morning, Lily. Good morning, Raspass. Good morning, Spade. Good morning, Basha. Good morning, Tanyosh. Did you see that? Did you see that? <laughs> so fast, that's me. I'm so fast. Good morning speedrun any percent. Heck yeah, I did it. I finally, I finally did it. <laughs> she did her intro at the... Guys, I'm, I'm finally, I'm finally making my way to becoming a real streamer. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I also did the real streamer thing of um, updating OBS. Like the first time it showed it to me, uh, and I regret that profoundly. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I should be fine. Like I'm working, I'm working on it. Like a, like this, David. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. Um, yeah. Now, whenever I start up, uh, OBS, uh." It has me... It says that frames missed due to rendering lag are like at 40% And it's like in the dark red <laughs> So I have to... I basically... I turn it on Like... I have to turn it on far enough ahead For it to get into the red... Or to get into the orange Uh... Which... Is 5% <laughs> <sighs> uh, yeah, I have... I have chosen poorly. They still have the real streamer experience of Windows updating after you tech check. <laughs> Windows can't get me. They can never get me. They keep asking me to update to 11. And I... They're so tricky. They are so tricky. They're like, Alright. Alright, do you want to update? And you're like, no. And they're like, okay, click here to continue to download the update. It's like, no. No, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> I want to stick with 10 and not download the update. Get out of here. How hard is it for them to understand that? <laughs> Just let me... Let me enjoy 10. <laughs> Forever. And ever and ever. Never. Good morning. Hello, hello, bye. Er, wow. I saw B and I immediately went to Barsha. Uh, Gecko, Blue Gecko. Hello, hello. Welcome in. <laughs> wow. Also, if I start freaking out at any point today, um, during the stream, it's probably because there's a spider on me. Uh, I don't know where or when, but yeah. Uh, it. Descended on me this morning, and I don't know if I killed it or not. But yes, oh, um, wonder it, wonder, wonder. Thank you, thank you for seven months. Thank you for seven months. Seven, seven months, seventeen. I can read numbers. I can read numbers. <laughs> I got this. I'm, I'm great. <laughs> there may or may not be a one in front of that seven. Who knows? It's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's funny whenever you guys like resubscribe or like you see your follower age, it's like that long, Masaka, Ma Masaka. Boyda is friend. You, I, I tell you, I let spiders live as long as they don't bother me. Um, they should be as scared of me. As I am them. So they don't get near me. But when they do... <laughs> fight or flight responds and I usually kill them. <laughs> 
I can't help it. It's just the immediate reaction. I can't be like, oh, you're okay. It's like, oh my god, there's something on me. I must, I must smash. I must smash it. I can't, I can't, I can't. Otherwise, I leave them alone. I don't know if Japan has like lethal spiders that come into your home. Like, there's a really scary one. The one that, if you don't like spiders, you should not look up. Uh, Huntsman spiders. Those are terrifying, but they're actually really good because they eat lots of big bugs. Like, they eat cockroaches. Like, they are friends. Uh, those, th those are terrifying, though. <laughs> spiders freak me out. Uh, so you should... Understandable. Und I mean... It's like a fairly common, uh, what is it, phobia? So I don't, I don't blame people. Blanc the gachi koi spiders! Oh boy, I can't wait for my favorite jellyfish tuba to play my favorite very wholesome visual novel. <laughs> it, look, look, okay, so, with Twitch's new, um, what is it? Mature content, uh, 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 filters. If your game is rated M at all, so like Omori, Omori is rated M. So immediately your, uh, stream gets classified as mature. Um, but did you guys get a notification when you came into stream today about playing a mature game? I don't think so! <laughs> But thank you so much, Dad. Thank you, thank you. Let's see, you're at, you're at, you're at, you're at. Where, where does it say? Where does it say? Uh, six with a one in front. <laughs> six with a one in front months. That's crazy. No maturity here. Only baby. <laughs> only, only stinky. Uh, sixteen year old. Yeah, yeah. But Otsukimi is going to. Which bed? Cause they have no jail? Do you just have to sit on your bed? Is that is that their way to time out? <laughs> but, oh what you mean like that? Okay, 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 okay. That's right, that is like a Do people do that? <laughs> Is that like a movie thing? Like, all right, young lady, you are going to bed with no supper. Like, surely, surely people don't actually do that? That's so... <laughs> Seems like an old movie thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm 30. Only when we play... Uh... What's it called? Saber Robot was 30. You have seen people actually do that? Gasp. 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 Actually, speaking of Super Robot was 30, I saw people, I saw like a tweet going around um, that was like, it was the button meme, and one button was get a new Super Robot Wars in 2024, but. It doesn't have Witch from Mercury. Or... Get Super Robot Wars in 2025. And it has Witch from Mercury. And there was... Like a lot of people that were like, Wait till 2025, we want Witch from Mercury. <laughs> like... Oh, Witch from Mercury is so popular! My answer to that would be, Give us an OG line... Uh, for Super Robot Wars. And then give us the mixture. The, the conglomeration of IPs uh, in the 2025 one. Easy. Easy. Let's see. As punishment, you starve. Seems like absolutely wild abuse to me. And my parents thought spanking us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of things to where it's like... If... If... If someone untouched by like any culture, which is impossible, um, but like an alien came in and saw like some parenting stuff, especially I, like there's some cultures that go way harder on it. <laughs> it's like, 
Do you do you hate the small creature that lives with you? <laughs> is that why is that why you are you are inflicting pain? It's like no, we love them. Like lock in bathroom, that is a sign of love, yes? No. Angel Dorney Blue Gecko here. Did you catch the Nintendo Direct? I did not. Uh <laughs> I I was like, actually no, you know what happened last night? I kinda remembered. Um Um Except last night I had a moment where I was like, I feel like my brain is like legitimately dying. I need I need like my Japanese skills are going down. Uh, like my brain power is going down. I need something that like challenges me. I need puzzles. Um, so I downloaded Professor Late in the second game in Japanese for my phone. <laughs> so that's what I was doing last night. <laughs> and I completely like I think I fell asleep before. No, actually, no, I was. Definitely playing well into Yeah, I just didn't remember. I was I was so I was so into solving the puzzles. <laughs> that my brain was just like whoop what's it? and then I woke up uh and I saw Bo tweet out that he because he tried to wake up uh to to watch it. He tried to sleep early and, and watch it, but I, I he set his alarms wrong. Um, and so I saw a tweet from him that was like, "What? Well, I missed the, the Nintendo Direct and I was like, Oh, me too. <laughs> but I looked over what was announced and it looks like all really cool things. Um, probably... I don't know if there's anything I'm looking to buy. Um... But yeah, still no Metroid for... No. No, I feel like... I feel like they would be like, we're in, they would have a, a whole, uh, what is it? Nintendo Direct. And they wouldn't tell you what's happening. They'd be like, we're having a Nintendo Direct on a, on a Nintendo IP. And that's all they would tell. And, and then they would just bring it out. They would just bring it out. Like that'd be the whole Nintendo Direct. <laughs> like they would do the thing to where they do a, a, a uh, what is it? A conglomeration of like a bunch of other stuff that is coming out, but the whole main would be on <laughs> Metroid Prime. Where your where small moves? Oh yeah, oh yeah, they do have Detective Pikachu too, <laughs> which makes me wonder: Does that mean we'll eventually get a second move? Probably not, because the movie had its own ending. <laughs> Final Fantasy has all my attention right now, understandably. Understandably. If I had ever played a Final Fantasy game or had a PS5, I would probably be in the same <laughs> place as you. Unless that has become Pikachu again? Possible. Possible. They're on Steam as well. Wait, what is on Steam? The Professor Layton games? Oh, Final Fantasy? No, I mean, I know the, the, the other ones, but I mean the, the most recent one um, will be PS5 locked for who knows how long. <laughs> there's a, there's a, a something that says like oh until december 31st uh, 2023 but that's usually just a placeholder date yeah it's not gonna be there for a long time i might get switched now because the peach game is super Mario. unless i forgore don't forgore you can do it download professor layton and get your get your brain cells working <laughs> This time it's not <laughs> no. <laughs> everything, everything is is Chris Pratt. Did you say that Chris Pratt is like? I think he's the face of of 
Fortnite in Korea? Gotta get that picker app fixed. It's so weird playing in Japanese. Not only because the voices, um, but like I thought, I thought the pick rats would be just like katakana of that. Um, but it's not. It's like something else, I think. I could see Tsukimi playing Donga Ropa. I would if I hadn't already watched Let's Plays of all of them and watched all the animes. <laughs> Even even the the third person shooter one the the, the ultimate despair girls or whatever uh, I watched it all. <laughs> Wait, we were watching. It should be his compressed Final Fantasy VI PC will come out when it's ready and it will still have bugs. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. I missed this earlier. Uh, I was watching the last one. You mentioned Gundam tractors. Um, and there's the kind of thing. If you haven't... Yeah, uh, wait. John Deere Tim Timberjack walking? Oh, I didn't know about that. But that, that there's also one that like, was recently announced. It doesn't even have a, a date yet. So we're getting that. <laughs> we're, getting, we're getting lots of farmer games. <laughs> Get excited! No fighting. No fighting. No Layton for me. Uh, cause I beat up Layton. So I, cause I beat Layton up? That's not very gentlemanly of you. Me, my mech, and I was like, yeah! That's such a... That's such a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> the, like the, the me, me, my blank, and I is such like a very homely, like positive <laughs> way to phrase things. And so then putting my mech is like, mm, I can, yeah, yeah, this feels whatever it is, we won't be fighting with our mech. <laughs> my girlfriend likes farmer games because they're chill, but I like action too slow. I like. I like the farmer game. Well, okay, I don't like farmer games. I don't like the... I'll be real. I don't entirely love the farming aspect, especially once it gets too... Like, grindy almost. Or like, you have to think about like meta stuff. Like, if all I have to do is plant water, I'm great. Um, once I have to start thinking about like buying like S tier... Uh, what is it? Not manure, but soil. And then like, oh, you, you only get the bestest of crops if you like plant on the third moon of the 17th day. Like... <laughs> Once it starts getting really nitty gritty, like the, the more realistic they make it, the actual planting, the less I feel inclined to play it. I just want a vibe. <laughs> but that a jellyfish farming game? Like, do you farm jellyfish? Or are you a jellyfish that farms? Everyone else sounds like it, it dies, right? But I know there's a lot of like super recent Harvest Moon games or st season of story games. And they'll be like, look at all the cool farm mechanics. I'll be like, mm. I pass. And yes, there is a Discord. We have it like available in chat only. <laughs> To deter people from raiding it and being evil. And so you are more than welcome. Uh, it's really about the community part. I enjoy more about the... Yeah! Yeah, yeah! That's, I think, why A Wonderful Life is one of my favorites. Because there's the passage of time. Uh, in those games. Which is like... Mm, that's the chef's kiss. That's the chef's kiss on like a community game. Although there are some parts that make you be like, oh. But for the most part, they're great. You can die of, you can actually die of old age. Heck yeah. That's what we all want, right? In a game. But with a human face, uh, jellyfish instead? I could see that. I could see that. Spongebob jellyfish part? That probably exists. 100%. Because, I mean, in 
SpongeBob World, they milk jellyfish for jam. So having a farm with jellyfish seems very normal. I feel like, right? <laughs> They're kind of nasty. That's only because you haven't experienced it. Did you know that the number that the number one leading cause of divorce is marriage? One hundred percent of divorces resulted in being married. Oh my god! Oh my god! I love statistics like that because that's. It's, it's the greatest like okay it's it, it's not it's not always it's not always like that <laughs> it's not jam it's jelly i had to make a distinction okay i had to make a distinction jellyfish jelly all right uh we should probably play a game i need to find out why we're a cat asap um now I think every time I feel something, uh, I'm I'm afraid. I'm afraid. That's the joke. Well, I'm destroying the joke. I'm here to break the joke. It's me. It's a Kimi B joke destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are we going? Devil Dorney, the clueless wanderer here. Maybe it's on her shoulder right now. Wait, what is? <laughs> the spider. Zukiri is going to sex shot again. No, no. Remember last time? I should, I guess if if you if you had to leave early, uh, last time we became a cat. So that was odd. All right, uh, we go here. Wow, wow, wow! Look, cat this. Uh, let me open up the game. Also, since updating, uh, what's it called? Steam. Ah! Since updating Steam, now if I right click and open up any game, it like opens up all of Steam. Is there? I haven't looked into it, but is there a way to like not have that happen? <laughs> it didn't used to do that. I do not like it. Let's see, let's see. Wait, 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 wait. Alright. <clears throat> let's get these in before we, we go. Good morning, Taba. Good morning, Dirk. Good morning, Empty Rainer. Good morning, Otto Cascadia. Good morning, Ching. Like the icon tray. Uh. Maybe. <laughs> Like, I used to, like, usually when I open up Steam games, because I, I I play all the same games, like, over and over again. Um, I right-click, and then it opens up, like, all the games. Like, it says recent games at the top, and then I'll click that. Uh, and it used to be... The icon at the bottom. Uh, maybe... And it used to be that, like, it would just open the game, but now it opens the game, and it opens, like, Steam main. Um, it opens the, the Steam, like, advertising page, and it opens the Steam friend area, and I'm just like, no, I, I only wanted the game go away. <laughs> Icon on the bottom. I'm guessing of main Steam is where possibly it could be. I will have to, I will have to look into it. I don't... If I want to open Steam, I will open Steam. They shouldn't do it for me. <laughs> Alright! You know where volume's at? Wait, Steam has its own volume? <laughs> I, I tell you, I do not open Steam a lot. Unless it's like for a new game or if I'm searching for games. And even then, I will usually just use the browser. <laughs> I don't. That, that that's how that's how little I actually open Steam. Do, 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 do. All right, so I am a cat, which is the translation for Wagahai wa neko de aru. 
Which I still need to read. I really want to read that book. It's a classic. So yes. I am a cat. No longer... I don't want to be... No. No, I don't want to be Sakura. Why you do this? Why you do this? Why are we a cat? I am a cat. I have no name. Nor any idea where I was born. <laughs> Good morning, Spaniard! Why not a cat? I'm just... I'm just I'm, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just... I'm a bit confused. The only thing I remember in my tiny mind... In my tiny little head... Is that I spent my early years meowing away in a shop. I lived in a fancy apartment with a view of the beach. But I ran away because it was so boring. Yeah. 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 What? That is not what you looked like. What is this? What is this? Nine? No, not 90s. Like... 50s cartoon? Everyone in the outside world call me whatever they liked. They ranged from Mac to Jake to Charlie. But my favorite was Sugar Bowl. Yeah, it's the bourgeoisie convert. Sugar Bowl is the name of a cat. Um, on a popular... Oh, that's why. Okay. Apparently, I look just like him. It seemed it's not every day they see a cat in these parts. I suppose it's because Oahu's climate is not suitable for long-haired cats. People pamper me when I walk on the beach and I fished through garbage cans for food. It was a carefree life. I could live however I wanted, just like the cartoon Sugar Bowl. What? But one day I was hit by a giant trolley bus. Isekai cried instantly. <laughs> it hurt like crazy, even um, though it was just for a second. I seriously thought I was going to die. For some reason, my vision had been darker ever since. I couldn't count on my prized nose to work when I needed it. <gasps> Not the band aid! Bonita, hello, welcome in! This was a big problem. How was I supposed to find food, Meow? I uh, hid behind some plants and stayed completely still. Suddenly, I heard a voice in my head. Okay, so, right. I was thinking, I was thinking. Last episode, they also... Discussed... Or not last episode, but maybe a couple of episodes ago. They discussed about... Remember, there was animals that were... Dying? Uh, because of what we assume is nanomachines? Could we be getting a first-hand look of what happens to these animals? <laughs> it's got... It's got a rose! It's got a rose! Poor kitty. Wait, it's also called Hanako. Wait, hold on. <laughs> With a C as well. Mm hmm? Poor kitty, I can't find... You can't find food, can you? Why don't I give you a hand? Oh? Who me out you be? <laughs> Thank you, translator. <laughs> My name's Hanako. Don't be scared. I've been with you a long time now. So, brain damage leads to being able to see nanomachines? <laughs> I was watching from close by when you got in that accident. Just then, this Hanako came up with an idea. Don't eat sugar bowl! Hey, why don't I... Why don't you let me take over for a bit? All you have to do is sit back and relax. This seems sus. Oh, this is the first dream of the game. Oh, oh, it's gonna make no sense. It's great. 
we don't even uh apparently there's nano machines that are taking over pets uh and possibly taking over humans as well and our main girl character is also named hanako who we believe to be uh born actually no we saw last time that she was born uh inside of the the big bad thing that we're all trying to defeat <laughs> Like, she just kind of... She grew out of a dead man's face. <laughs> you know, completely normal. My body leapt uh, to its feet the moment Hanako said that. And then took off as fast as I could. Though I couldn't see anything. I, I didn't bump into anything. Oddly enough. <laughs> but, but, but. I was running fast and firmly on all fours. And just as I was thinking of taking a huge jump off the ground... Just like... You know what? It kind of is, honestly. <laughs> Something flew into my mouth. It seemed I'd caught a little bird. What the bird? I borrowed your body and caught a tiny little bird. You're hungry, right? So dig in. <laughs> I chowed up. God, the eating sounds. I chowed on the bird without a second thought. It felt incredibly, incredible tasting meat after so long. It's so good. You're amazing, Han Hanako. I can't believe you caught a flying bird. <laughs> You're welcome. Just let me know if you ever get hungry again. I'll do the hunting for you. Mukbang stream, no! <laughs> Cat mukbang stream. So like... I mean, at least... She's not... Keeping control, like... She, I mean, she could just be luring him in, but like, she's not taking over con full control. She drank water for me, ran away from danger for me, and went out for walks on the beach in my place. What can you do? Ew, gross! What is with this ki- What's with this cat? Shoo, you're disgusting! Uh, uh-oh. People screamed and ran away when they saw me. I felt like... And then... In... Wait, well, where is this supposed to be? In... Dumb... In dumb... Mutable... Lion... Indomitable? I, I don't think I know that word. <laughs> I know I've seen it before! Ah... Uh, I've not seen it in use. I was thrilled, but only at the beginning. Gradually, I started getting bored and fed up with this way of life. Impossible to subdue or defeat. Ah... Uh, I thought they liked hanging out with people. <laughs> Life had gotten easy. But honestly, very mountainous. <laughs> Doesn't even know he's a zombie. Right? I feel like that's what it must be. Hanako, give me out my body... Uh, give me out my body back from time to time. I don't know how much... More boredom I can take. Oh, this is she basically fully taken over? Ah, oh, no! But Hanako didn't answer me. Come to think of it. When was the last time I heard her voice? I started to get worried. My body kept moving and catching prey day after day without issue. I wanted for nothing anymore. I no longer moved according to my will. I gave myself over to Hanako and just watched from the sidelines. No! Did the exact thing I said that we shouldn't! Wait... That's... Watch? What a perfect expression... That was... I can't see anything! Were my eyes crushed on that day I met Hanako when I had the accident? Who even am I? Meow? When Hanako's the one controlling my body... What does that milk me? Hanako could no longer tell who she was anymore. <gasps> Wait, okay, 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 so... 
basic... Wait, does that mean everyone could become Hanukkah? Because <laughs> I feel like this is what happened with the, the guy. The, the, the guy that she, the, whose face she was born from. Because probably she... Like everyone, I feel like, has uh, these nano machines in them. Because everyone's like around the Consuelo. So like... Is it just if you have like a higher dosage that then Hanako takes over? Like if you if you die, I, I think you have to die. I think you have to die and then Hanako can slowly take over. Uh oh. Another dimension. No wait, that's wrong. That's not me. I'm not Hanako. Uh Hanako thought about who she used to be. Oh god. No, I said a meow Hanako. I have plenty of names. I could say them all right now. Hanako thought. He didn't say anything. No! Hanako thought. He couldn't remember anything. Hanako thought. She didn't even have a head. To think with what? That's right. I am a cat. Nothing more. Nothing less. In that case. Oh God! My name must be Hanako. Oh. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> so this is where the horror was hiding. So I finally accepted Hanako. I am a cat. And I my name is Hanako. I'm sure it's been that way even before I can remember. <laughs> once I realized who I was. Uh, now, once the cat accepted he was dead, a new life form uh, became aware of its birth. So it's just chilling around like that? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, bye. No wonder people are scared of it. I would be. What the heck? Hello, Zianna. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Did I miss anyone? I did. Red Chimera, good morning. Um, 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 um. I got Spaniard. <laughs> All right, we're good. The cat scrunched while on the side of the road. It remained frozen in place as though it were a plant. No! Oh, are you kidding me? Not running away tonight? No, that's unusual. Ah! Uh... <laughs> Wait, let me save! Aha! Okay, hold on a sec, guys. God, am I just breaking the game? Oh no, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Okay. Um, I need to get out of here because it broke. <laughs> Exit this game. Yes. In a momento. Alright, we bring it back up. Means I should save over here. Zombie cat attacks. Huh? She's just, that's not a swimsuit. She's just hanging out. Uh, hello? Game? Game desk? Not opening. 
Does it still think it's on? Oh, it says it's launching. Uh, uh. Police not? Wait, what? This is indeed not Snatcher. Uh, it usually does not take this long. I'm gonna cancel. Uh, internet daijoubu? Internet looking daijoubu. There we go! Okay. Phew! Kawaii! Kawaii! Alright, continue. A lone woman approached the cat and discovered uh, it with a giant box. The box was made of a black material and was sturdy in spite of its light weight. We are Daidobu. Daidobu. Yes, yes, indeed. If I'm lucky, it won't bubble on me. Uh, I'll be watching you as I spray paint a Haro to look like <gasps> Watomero. That sounds fun. That sounds summery. Anuko curled up in the box without resisting. It was almost like a coffin. <laughs> the woman uh, stared off in the space as she started speaking. Hello, wolf. I finally caught the consuelo. That's right, a kitten. It seems calm for the time being. I'll start heading back to the blue serpent right away. It sounded as though she was talking to someone. Perhaps that really was the case. <laughs> if only, if only that uh the 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 cat could talk. Like it would be like, I'm Hanako! <laughs> and they'd be like, oh shoot. Oh shoot. Hanako hung his head. Uh the flame of his soul faded away. It was assailed by the dark sense of emptiness. Once it realized who it was, the body was no longer a cat's. What? Are, are we gonna open up the box and it's gonna be Hanukkah? <laughs> like, just a tiny, a tiny cat Hanukkah? <laughs> Spider got in the game? <laughs> no, that was. That was. That was. Catacomb! Hey, it's a mech! It's a mech! All sorts of unusual phenomena have been witnessed in the battleship over the last few days. Though they differ by region, invisible terrors were striking all over Baobab for myster from mysterious animal deaths uh, to the spread of a bizarre cold. Mm. According to the specialist, Inswell had apparently gotten very active uh, over the last few months. More small can swallow than before we spotted. Even in the atom soup. Not the atom soup. Not the soup. Sorry, there's a consuelo in my soup. Get those mechs out of my cat psychological working. <laughs> this is what we're here for. This is what we're here for. Elites found themselves on more sorties uh, exterminating consuelos day after day. I'm gonna save. But we're not killing large consoles. I have to admit, it's getting exhausting to have to do this every day. Hanako. Hanako. Why don't we have lunch together until our next sortie? Hanako flopped down by Sita's feet and uh, took two lunch boxes out of the paper bag. She'd taken a liking to cookies ever since the house party the other day. And had cooked everything in the lunch boxes. Whoa. Stray DLC looking Gucci. God, oh, that'd be depressing if that's how Stray ended. We never know. I'll never know. I'll know one day. One day. Wonder if there'll be a day where we can see kind of mechanics simulator. I mean, there's a mechanic simulator where you build robots. <laughs> Hanako, have you ever dreamed about being a cat? Have you ever felt. Well, I guess she would have to be. All like she's probably multiple pets. This would probably happen multiple times. 
I feel like she's just one... She's one of many Hanako spans. They all come from the OG Hanako with a K. Good morning, Altisan! Uh, today's dish was fried chicken with stir-fried broccoli. Uh, there was also six cute bite-sized rice balls. That sounds cute. This guy loved broccoli and chicken. Uh, he'd steam them and eat them after training every single day. Is that, yeah, that sounds like a muscle head. <laughs> muscle heads love chicken. Anika must have seen that, for she always made sure to feature them in her lunches. What? No, Hanako's not the furry. Uh, John, John is, and uh, the furry liker is Sagan. This kid probably stuffed his cheeks with the rice balls. Mm, that tastes so good. I would just yammer in them. Anika smiled happily when she heard Yusuke e eating so heartily. She wasted no time in swallowing some lunch herself. No chicken get shrimp instead? But then you have to de-vein them. You gotta take the poop vein out of them. That's annoying. The soy sauce goes really well with the chicken and broccoli. And it helps the rice go down. It tastes really familiar for some reason. I put a lot of dried ginger root in the sauce. Just don't mind if it's not enough, okay? Pody vein. <laughs> yeah, thanks as always. And Uncle B and picking up the bag and stood up. You could eat the spider? It was way too small. It wouldn't even... It would give me nothing. Eat the entire shrimp with the shell is where the flavor is. I like the flavor. I don't mind uh, shrimp shells. Uh, but the poopy vein. I don't like the poopy vein. And honestly, it's, it, I, I haven't seen, like, a flavor difference. It's, uh, it's more that, like, it's grainy. I don't like the graininess that comes with the poopy vein. What is the jump? I have no idea. It just descended from the sky. Um, and I just whacked at it. Um, I'm gonna go over to... Oh, I'm gonna go over to Nia and the others. Huh? Why, do you need something from them? They're always helping us, right? So I make some cookies to thank them. Hanako took some individually wrapped cookies out of the bag. They were all cutely frosted with icing. She's so cute. My family only could shrimp with the shell and I hate it. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, there's a, there's a time and place. <laughs> Uh, just looking at those cookies puts a smile on my face. They make them as a present. Everyone's tired from all the constant work, right? That's right, and sugar will help us. Oh, and I gave some to General and Eliza earlier. When did you... No, never mind. Did they like them? Yep. They were really happy. General Wolf was like, I'm so happy. It's like I have a daughter of my own. <laughs> <laughs> the general said that. Oh man, I wish I could have seen that. Look, I'm just acting as Hanako, okay? I'm just, I'm just acting as Hanako. The two chuckled for a while. Hanako smiled, took the bag, and headed over to the support pilots in sortie lane number two. Will this really go over well? Yeah, are they on good terms with them yet? Uh, they did try and destroy his. What is it? His 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 reputation? <laughs> I think that's the last time we saw them. Like, there's been no redemption arc yet. Yosuke still seated, watched Hanako go. Oh, if we start with Moe, we should be good. Moe walked over to Hanako and she noticed her. Uh, Hanako timidly handed over the cookies to Moe. The two of them talked for a short while. Moe... Smiled joyfully when she saw the cookies. Moi good. Moi moi cute. Moi moi cute. Hanako smiled blissfully as well. It seemed it'd been a success. Phew. Good thing she accepted it. Okay, but now we have the other two. The other two are not as nice. Yes, of course, they put them together. 
Anna Nicole walked over to Mia and Lucky next. Uh, she took out the two cookies and held them held them out to them. Uh oh. Prepare listen to Hanako explain herself. But put the cookies back in the bag. Oh. No! Hanako, no! They turned to leave as flustered Hanako followed them. You got a mature flag content war- Wait, you did? For here? Do they see the big booba? Did Twitch see the big booba and be like, what? Whoa. Uh, the two left Hanako behind and vanished. Good morning, Ubu! It's fine, we still got strawberry milk cow girl. She, did, she really is just a strawberry milk cow girl. I, I did, why is she wearing, why is she wearing that, that jacket? Hanako was left standing all by herself. The sorrowful aura emanated from her slumped shoulders. I feel like Moi should have taken the cookies and be like, Don't worry, I gotcha. <laughs> that would have been so good. That would have been enough. That would have been enough. Come on over, Hanako. Risky raised his voice and called out to Hanako. She turned around and trotted back to him. Or trotted over to him. Her eyes were full of tears, just as Yosuke had expected. They didn't take them? Hanako quietly looked at, looked at her cookies. They said they didn't eat them. She seemed quite hurt to have... Uh, to have her pure goodwill so spurned. I see. It's sad, but there's nothing we can do about that. Say that they're probably on a diet. <laughs> Give us some reason! Give us some reason! If they could have given us like a better... A better reason for why... Like at, at least make something up. Come on, guys. Come on. So Kiwi, I would have taken the cookies. I would have taken both. For myself. And after I did all that work to make these for them. No, that's being selfish, Hanako. I know you did it for the goodness... <clears throat> uh, did it out of, of the goodness of your heart, but you can't force others to accept something they didn't ask for. Oh, that's... That's actually very true. They are in the bad. <laughs> but that's very true. <laughs> Anika looked up at Yosuke, um, on the verge of sobbing. She sat on the floor in frustration and groaned. It seems she was still trying to come to terms with this. Yosuke picked up the bag. Uh, Hanako dropped off the floor. I feel like I feel like if it was anyone else that turned it down, like if it was a nice person that turned it down, uh, it would be a better way to use it as a learning. Tool, but because it's people that hate them, <laughs> it's like no, no, it doesn't. It, it's not as good of a learning tool for this this topic, as they probably just turned it down because they just they better. <laughs> Let's not waste these cookies. Mind if I have them instead? Yeah, eat the cookies. Eat the cookies. Aniko nodded. Uh, her, her, her tears dripped on the floor with that motion. This kid probably took a bite of the cookie. This is so good. Naya and Lucky don't know what they're missing. Delicious sugary calories. Anako smiled when she saw Yosuke stuff himself. But she just as quickly frowned again. And spoke in a desolate voice. I just want to get along with people. It's hard. People are scary. People are way more scary than Consuelos. We don't discuss the calories. I discuss the calories. You cannot stop me. I will always discuss the calories if there are calories written on it. <laughs> if it's homemade, then no, we don't. That's adding. That's adding. Uh, Yosuke thought to himself for a bit. After hearing that heartfelt wish of hers... He himself understood painfully well what it was like to want to get along with everyone. I'm gonna save again. 
I can't trust this game after it died once. And I'm gonna save over here as well. Alright. His kid used to get really bothered about how others saw him. Even now, he still got that way when he was alone. Same. Same. Said the calories! Okay, no, the calories have to taste good, okay? Okay? Calorie mates? Calorie mates are literally just the calories. Like, I would, I would pack calorie mates if I was going somewhere where, you know, I could get lost. Uh, I could need them for, like, emergency food. But ain't no way. I tried them once. Do not want. People are jerks, reject people, except Mech's an animal machine! But she is! She is an animal machine! Is it like... Hard tag? It's got a little more flavor than hard tag. That I will give it. You like calorie mates? Dude, power to you, Otto. Power to you. <laughs> it's, it's not enough. It's like, that's what I said. I, I would take them with me. Because they, they are better than like hard tag. That's for sure. Um, But... What's the best flavor? Mm. I don't know. I'm very bad at judging uh, chocolate stuff. Because a lot of things like to use dark chocolate to, to flavor it. So I feel like if you like dark chocolate flavor, then you might like them. Um, but yeah. <laughs> There's definitely... I feel like there's not much sugar in them, which is where all, all my brain goes wrong. <laughs> Alright, so we got that. Wow, it really died! I think if I ignore this for like even a second, it just, it just offs itself. Do 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 I can handle it, I just don't like to. <laughs> I don't want to. I play. The good thing we saved, right guys? Right guys? Okay, so we read that. Anako, I know how you uh, feel. But it's impossible to get along with everyone. So true, Yosuke. So true. As he carefully chose his words, sounding like he was talking to himself as much as he was talking to Hanako. Friendship requires mutual affection. It doesn't work if it's a one-way street. Uh, I can't be friends with Naya or Laki? Probably not. But you don't have to be, do you? Not all good relationships are friendships. I think it's also important to have acquaintances you're not close with. Huh. That is true. There's no there's no problem with just being acquaintances. Yosuke rejects fair socialism. <laughs> He's like, you're not in ter you're not terribly close. You just know them. You're an acquaintance. That's that's so powerful. <laughs> Alright, alright guys, let's start some YouTube, or not YouTube, let's start some Twitter drama. Some VTuber drama and just say you don't gotta be friends with everyone in, in the VTuber sphere. Just be acquaintances. <laughs> let's go! Hug. Hug! Monica hugged Yesuke as if she'd, uh, Asian reverse. She buried her face in... His chest and wiped her tears. I hope she's not got snot as well. And I clicked her tongue irritably as she watched a two from a distance. <laughs> Wait, so they're still in the hangar? I guess I guess it's big enough to where we can't hear. Like we weren't able to hear these conversations, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> it's too corny as heck. Actually, wait, I think something. Oh, she cusses a lot. <laughs> so she said, uh, those two need to get a goddamn room. Um, Molly, what did you think you were doing? Wait, I, I feel like we gave her an accent. I don't remember. 
Do you mean, I think you and Zaku One are in a poor social. I hate Zaku One, so there's no. If anything, Zaku One likes me, and I I care nothing for Zaku One. He's trying. He's trying to be like Hanako and be friends with me, and I just no nope, no. Nope. Let's see. How could you accept a cookie from that bitch Hanako? Yeah, she's right. We don't know what kind of germs that uh, the gunk she made she makes has in them. Well, I put the cookies uh, she was holding in her pocket. She thought something over with a sad look on her face before turning to her friends. Friends, come on, come on, Moi, you're better than this. Come on, Moi, you're better than this. Uh, and pondering over her words wisely. Let's go! <laughs> hey, he's still talking bad about Hanako. The lieutenant is one thing, but I don't think it's good to damage Excel Carrier's morale. They say a cell Carrier's mental state is 80% of the battle. So what if we could say... So what we say could lead to Hanako screwing up and getting in an accident. Oh god, I hope they don't take this the wrong way and they're like, Oh! We can get them into an accident before the big show! <laughs> Lucky and Naya's eyes widened at Moi's rare display of a spy. <laughs> they're like, she talk back! What the heck? Where did he get off saying uh, that after all this time? Like, we can get to we can get the pilot battleship ourselves. If those two get booted from elite squad, you know. I know, but we shouldn't be trying to. I just silently glared at boy. Moi stopped talking and hung her head uh, as her will was snuffed out. No, Moe! Coward. I'm disappointed in you. So we were lying when we made... Um, when we all made that promise to reach for the stars. Eh? Eh? Was she Canadian? No, I wasn't. You're always caving into others. That's why you keep letting the good, good waves get away. Maybe you're right, but still. Nice sigh when she saw Moi. Who's he footing around? I guess that's allowed. Let's go, Lucky. This wimp's not our friend anymore. No! We'll take her. We'll take her. We'll take her. We'll accept Moe. Now we're the group of three. Now we're the trio. Huh? Hey, hold on. Wait, Naya. Lucky seemed concerned about Moi. She still chased after Naya. Support pilots all uh, awkwardly got into their mechs with heavy hearts. No, uh, wait. This feels like a death flag. <laughs> is is Moi gonna die? Is Moe gonna die? Angel Dorney the clueless wanderer here. Lackey more like Lackey, am I right? <laughs> it even knew! The TTS knew! Hanako and Yosuke boarded stood up when uh, it was time when the time to sortie drew. Near. Drew near. Yosuke saw... Uh, sat in the pilot seat like always and helped Hanako get ready to engage! He linked the mech to Hanako via the engage cord and checked on Hanako's condition to the control panel. Jojo, stay! <laughs> yes, yes, Yosuke is Hanako's stand. <laughs> there's, there's no, no, there is nobody for strawberry milk girl though. Her mental state seemed unstable. What happened earlier must uh, have still been weighing on her mind. As such, her cell output wasn't as stable as usual. I'm seeing Discord. Discord? 
<laughs> in your mind. You okay? I'm fine. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, zoom! I wanted to make the Discord sound, but I don't remember what it sounds like because I have stopped all Discord noises. They're in my Discord. They're in my Discord! I'd be okay. I'd be okay with everyone but those uh those two bullies. So we're headed for the atom soup. Right after lunch, uh Yosuke and Hanako prune thick vines while looking for a lord. A lord. The signals are more persistent than usual. Can you burn them up with a burst of cell, Hanako? Probably not. Hanako unleashed the full power of her cell, she was told. Yet the signals just kept biting the Suda's heels. Yes, the bullies are... No! No, I'm deciding they're not. We, we kick them. It's like they're mad. Yosuke had a thick bind of while peri periodically uh, swatting away sig signal. Am I, I? I feel like I'm reading that wrong. Pant pant! Jehudi. It, it do look a lot like Jehudi. <laughs> if Jehudi's cockpit was like, you know, where they normally put mech cockpits. <laughs> Hanako was um, completely out of breath just from puning a few vines. Are you tired already? We haven't even met our minimum quota yet. I'm fine. I'm just a little dizzy. That's all. Transmission came from control. As if they'd also noticed Hanako was acting strange. God, that's still really cool. Hanako's engagement is lapsing uh, into chaos. 612. It seems her temperature is higher than before the sortie. You might be tired from day after day of sorting. I'll take care of that. I'll... Oh, I'll take care that she doesn't push herself. Because he did his best to burn up as little saw as possible so as not to wear on Hanako. Hanako, if this is about what they said earlier, you can't let that bother you. Uh, that's not it. Consuelo is kind of loud today. There are more of them than usual now that you mention it. We'll be fine as long as we stay calm and eliminate them. It's not it. The rose is crying. It's telling me to come home. What? Why would it be calling for you? I like that he's just totally accepted that the Consuelo talks to her now. He's like, yeah, that's a normal thing. But it's calling for you? Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> like, why? Where, 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 where have you... Where is your baseline gone? <laughs> Hanako slowly shook her head. It seems she didn't know either. Unexpectedly, 612 received a transmission um, from Naya when they waited to gather up cell. Hey. Lieutenant. Oh, oh no. Anomalocaris has showed up. Have you met your quota? Yeah, we're fine on that front. Uh, we'll head over once we're ready. Wow! Wow! That's gay. Hung up and checked out Hanako. Booty. Booty, booty. The Lord, are you okay on cell? I'll be fine with the Lord. But I'm a bit low on cell. Got it. Let's do a lap around it first then. Nayu, can you hear me? Get in your starting position once uh, Hanako has enough cell. Fire, then take out the legs. Roger. I'll get started. I'll start the count once I'm in attack position. I I feel like Moe's gonna die. I feel like Moe's gonna die. They had a falling out, and now those two are going to be sad that their last words to their friend were mad? The sheep all turned to the large lord and simultaneously unleashed a barrage. So they did a lap and waited for Hanako to get ready. Angel Dorney Blue Gecko here. Tsukimi, don't jinx it. It's already written! Hey, look, it's the scene that I use for uh, the, the thumbnail. <laughs> Yosuke set his sights on the Consuelo once uh, he was sure Hanako had gathered enough cell. He immediately radioed uh, Naya. Naya, start the countdown. 
Roger. Come on over whenever. Moe is gonna... It's, it's something. Or like to save... I wouldn't be surprised if it was to save her friends. Because it's like, oh, they had a falling out. So of course she wouldn't save them. But of course she would. And then they'll be riddled with guilt. And then they'll be our friends. <laughs> Countdown was displayed on Sue's control panel. There he goes! Go, 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 go! Let's do this, Hanako! You got it! Because I think if boys, uh, risked, uh, or sacrificed their life to save Hanako, then the other two would be like, You killed her! Yosuke charged full speed ahead at their target. Then held his giant cutters uh, at the ready and aimed for the other side of the barrage. Oh god, this is terrifying. I don't think we've seen this. I don't think we've seen this. The sheep all stopped firing with five uh, seconds left to go. The barrage of cell light vanished quickly, clearing up uh, their line of sight. <laughs> the legs are still there? Why? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no! So it was firmly bound by the Lord's uh, giant legs. The moment its cutter pierced, it can spoil a weak point. It held Suda fierce in its clutches and refused to let go. It truly, it truly was an animal, anomalocaris king of the atom swoop. Swoop. The cutter had snapped at its. Uh, Based on the impact, now Suda had no way of fighting back. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh dear. That said, this looks really cool. <laughs> the Lord unleashed uh, a shockwave while holding onto the Suda. <laughs> Anako screamed at the top of her lungs. The impact had point blink. Uh, shockwave attack was running through her body from head to toe. Why the heck are there over half the legs left? Did the support pilots not take care of them? And I go pound on the monolith panel uh, to desperately try to control Suda. Um, but despite its efforts, it was having a hard time freeing itself from the Consuelo's grasp. <laughs> no! Oh! Alright. Hold on. Oh, I think I, I might have accidentally... Oh god. I cannot see anything. Here we go. Save... Pant, pant! We've got to free ourselves fast! Okay. I got this, guys. I got this. Yeah, it's killing the game, too! There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, saved! I'm very glad at least that I figured out that we can do this. <laughs> Is it good? Okay. Because if... Otherwise, we'd have to keep like... We'd have to keep... Catching up to where we were. <gasps> Play! It's killing everything. It's killing. It's killing the main pilots. It's killing the cool pilots. It's killing the game. You guys better watch out. Look behind you. <laughs> pimp, pimp. We gotta free ourselves fast. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Hanako, Hanako, Hanako threw her body back in agony after taking another shockwave. Hanako. Oh. She limply collapsed against Yusuke's chest right uh, when the attack ended. Are you okay? Hanako didn't answer. She looked completely drained. It seems she blacked out from the shock. Uh-oh, she has no light in her eyes! He wanted to pull the engage card out of her right away, but that would have just put her body in danger. Even if we did get free, how would we escape next? We're sitting ducks with, the, uh, with our cell supply cut off. Escape radio the support pilots. What the heck are you fools doing? Stop steering it! Get rid of the legs! We're gonna stay trapped if we don't do something! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the heck do you get off ordering us around? Uh, they're dying? Hello? It's less ordering and more like, please save us? 
You're the one who charged in without a countdown. No way, you can't be serious! The distortion sort of creaked against the Lord's giant legs. Uh, the frame would be crushed if, it's, if this kept up. Crap, someone help us! I don't care who! <gasps> oh! Oh, no, you guys might be right! You guys might be right! Remember, charged in Suda, right? As Yosuke screamed, it severed one of the console legs with its cutter. Molly! 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 Hello, edible ghost! Yeah, I really, I really like the art. It's, it's very vibrant. That freed up Suda a little. I'll do what I can to get rid of the legs. Please, have Hanako disengage, Lieutenant. What do you think you're doing, Moe? She's right. It's too dangerous to be uh to be near a target during an attack. You're the one who should cut it out with the sick ideas like that false countdown. <gasps> it was intentional. He's been missing the target the whole time. You have no intention of saving the lieutenant and Hanako, do you? Um. Ah. Uh... Come to your senses and remember, please! The Lieutenant and Hanako aren't our enemies! Yeah, this is not how you make it to the top, you guys. The Lord unleashed another shockwave! Ah! Moe! Moe used Suda as a... Wait. <laughs> Moe's doing fine, you guys. She's using us as a shield. <laughs> While severing the legs behind the mech. I feel like she's got a weaker mech to begin with, so that does make sense. See, see, see? She's at least apologizing for it. She knows that in the long run, they could hold out longer while she can help. In the in the terms of mobility. I'm sorry for using you as a shield. Uh, I'll have them all cut off soon. It's okay. Hanako's disengaged, so don't worry about it. Thanks for the save. I'm also at fault for not double-checking first. No! Please don't apologize. I'm so sorry for all the trouble we've caused. Oh, Moe! Why the leg restraining Suda was removed? You can dodge now! Lieutenant, pull back! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yosuke pounded the monolith panel in Hanako's place and channeled all the cell he could muster. Muster. Move, oh, damn it! Suda boosted far back, leaving its cutter... Uh, stuck in the Consuelo. Why is Brahma took action when Suda was out of the Lord's range? It soared ferociously over Suda's back and charged at the Consuelo without avoiding its shock waves. <gasps> Take this! Oh, she's too close, though. She's too close! Bram rammed into the cutter, still stuck. Um. Oh, into the cutter, still stuck in the Consuelo. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> Did she get it? Did she kill it? Realizing its defeat was nigh, um, the Lord self destruct Oh no. While unleashing shockwaves as its final act of defiance, Moe! Ram and Suda were caught in the explosion at point blank range. Moe! Moe! Hanako! As he put forward, he endured the rumbling. He protected Hanako's head with his arms and shielded her. If boy dies, we riot. I feel like it's happening. The carpet went dark uh, now that it was out of cell. Something smashed into Suda. The pillar fell from the ceiling from impact. Suda was knocked into a tailspin for a while, but eventually slowed down automatically. Yosuke checked to ensure Hanako was breathing when Samek stopped shaking. Uh, he felt her warm breath against his hand. Next, he gave her a little slap. Okay, that's what that sound was. So, Kimi will be blamed. Listen, 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 listen. The story has been written. This has all been foretold. It's not my fault. You have a second coming? We're jumping on to the... Oh god, what's the name? Out of the Columbia Red Line Um, he gave her a little slap. He slapped her. Slapped it, did like a bright slap. Nicole, are you okay? 
Okay, but what about Moe? I guess you can't check. But what about Moe? Cough, cough. We're jumping on the white base. <laughs> there it is. There it is. That's Moe. Hopefully not though. But I feel like it is. And it goes childlike eyes open slowly. Slowly opened. What happened, Yosuke? Cook with a mess. And it goes eyes darted around as she as she took stock of her surroundings. And the control panel in front of her was smashed beyond all recognition. The ceiling of the cockpit had dropped a hair's breadth above them. It seemed the fallen pillars had served as support runs, uh, keeping them from getting crushed. Pant, pant! We got caught in an explosion. Are you hurt? Can you check yourself? Yeah. Aniko um, patted herself down as she rubbed her thighs and abdomen to make sure nothing was wrong. Yeah, Moi was like literally at. Ground zero of that explosion. Wait. Uh, that could cause a fire. Let's just leave it. Wait, did I miss something? Oh, okay. Uh, she couldn't see well in the darkness. She reached for the monolith panel and tried to light the place up. Uh, we'll wait for orders from the top. Okay. We'll contact them shortly after. Uh, not through the mech's radio, but rather Yosuke's cell device. <laughs> this communication system must have been destroyed. Hanako tapped Yosuke's bracelet uh, in his place. Okay, 612, respond. <laughs> this is Yosuke ha uh, Hakone of 612. Both pilot and cell carrier are alive. That's great. It was on its way. I'll return you to the battleship, so remain on standby. But what about Mole? Roger. And I go end of the call and looked at the cockpit. Several sheep were surrounding the Suda. It seemed they were uh, tying ropes around it to drag it back to the battleship. Anako grinned at Yosuke. He could rest easy now. Are you hurt? I don't know. It's hard to breathe in this pose, though. Want me to get an oxygen? Want me to get the oxygen mask below? Anako reached out towards her feet. Copium! <laughs> she took out the oxygen max at uh, the base of the control panel and pressed it firmly against Yosuke's mouth. Pant, pant. That's me. That's me. Uh, uh, Moi's alive. Moi's alive. Oh! That's not me. <laughs> I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. I don't trust. I don't trust this. That's not- that's not good. I guess he did use cell, which he's not used to. That- that's not good. He's got tuberculosis. This guy suddenly coughed up blood into the mask. <laughs> he slumped down and lost conscious right afterwards. Oh dear! That's- oh, oh dear. <laughs> Hanako's food took a 180 when she saw the blood gushing out from the mask. As she looked over her shoulder and checked, only to notice something was piercing his chest. Oh no! What happened? What did I do? Everyone died. Everyone is dying, apparently. Hanako uh, operated Yosuke's bracelet and called back to control. Is something the matter? 612? General Wick picked up after several rings. Voice Hanako, calm down, explain the situation. A pull stabbing Yosuke in the back. Is the lieutenant conscious? He was talking to me normally a minute ago, but he coughed up blood and collapsed. Oh god, it is going through the back. Yeah, bye. Although it is in his shoulder on the side, not where his heart is. Uh I feel like you would be fine. <laughs> really, as, as long as it didn't pierce the lung, he might be fine. Sus, 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 sus. If it, if it's high up on his shoulder, he might actually be fine. 
I think your liver is lower down. Your liver is like more towards your your, your stomach. It will take time to open the cockpit. Hanako, do you remember how to perform first aid? That no, that is not going to help. <laughs> like she's gonna be like, oh, we should get the pool out, and it's like, no, that'll kill him. <laughs> CPR the pipe. <laughs> Don't cry. Uh, remember your training. Devil Dorney Zionic G here. He gone, fam. Rip to a victim of UC reality timeline. <laughs> no! Opening his hairways and keeping him warm with your uh, uniform. Be careful not to put pressure on his body while doing so. <laughs> oh! Wait, this looks really cool though. <laughs> Oh, I do like that they added blood to her sprite! Oh, that's cool. That's a good, that's a good bit. Hanako slipped out of the pilot seat, taking care not to move Yosuke too much. Putting the airways... Uh, putting the airways when the face is lowered. Hanako turned Yosuke's face sideways uh, and stuck her wrist under his jaw. She could hear faint coughing coming from his mouth. Next, listen up his pants. Uh, it take off the dog tag around his neck, right? He crouched down, loosened his belt uh, and pants. Though it wasn't uh, strangling him or anything. She also removed the 612 dog tag just to be safe. And Nicole put on her... Put it in her dress pocket so she wouldn't lose it. After that, check the affected parts and where he's still bleeding. He confirmed his heartbeat breathing before finally examining his wounds. You could see a part of the damaged mech stabbing his shoulder and piercing through his chest. However, she couldn't tell if uh, he was bleeding in tune to his heartbeat. It seemed it would probably be best for her not to touch him. Mm -mm -mm. Yosuke! Yosuke! Hey! Yosuke! Can you hear me, Yosuke? I feel like she's going on adrenaline now. It was, uh... She, her mental state needs to be good to pilot uh, Suda, but Suda is out of commission right now, so I think she's good. <laughs> and Luku kneeled by Yosuke and kept calling for him. She touched his unnaturally dangling right arm uh, to find it was shockingly cold. <gasps> is he gonna lose his right arm? Is he gonna is he gonna get a mechanical arm? And Luku rubbed his hand and breathed onto it to warm him up. This is all she could do for him. She sobbed as she kept thinking about Yosuke. It's, guys, this is now Trauma Center. <laughs> We're now playing Trauma Center. Get your scalpel and laser tools out. We're gonna get rid of some tumors. Just why did this happen? And a girl called the events, the events leading up to this point as best she could. Why did the Lord still have this way? <gasps> oh no, is she going to get angry? Is she gonna go out for revenge? Did the support pilots leave them on purpose? Monica shook her head off to shook her head to rid herself of the unpleasant thoughts that came to mind. Oh no, the intrusive thoughts! Don't let them win! Don't let them win! <laughs> Everyone is Hanako. Just Hanako. I didn't they all help Suda. Because they had nothing to gain from helping? Hanako shook her head to rid herself of the sad thought that came to mind. Is it because I'm stupid? Because I have germs? Seriously? <gasps> oh my god, we've never had it this bad on this computer. I cannot see. Oh god, the screen went black! He usually doesn't do this. Come on. Oh wait. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. Save. Save. Yes. It keeps crashing. Like it's it's very worried for us. That's for sure. Okay, so I saved. So now we can. Yes. And then we'll save over here. We've basically gone... The computers have swapped places. Before it was, uh... My laptop was the one that kept dying, and now it's this one that keeps dying! 
And there's no rhyme or reason to it. Like, we haven't... I haven't changed anything. Because they hate me? When a terrifying thought came to her mind. They hate me. People hate me. Deep sorrow and rage at others sprouted in Hanako's heart. Those negative emotions were having an effect on her behavioral principle. I, this thing is not good. I feel like I feel like for her not to become bad Hanako, um, for for the Consuelo genes to not kick in, she has to like humanity. <laughs> I feel like that's important, and that's why it was she needed someone like Yosuke, and now she's hating humanity again. The hate in her blazed like a flame and dyed her heart black. I'm scared. I'm scared, but I don't feel to get eyes. Hanako pressed down on her chest, uh, that began to rip apart from the inside. She desperately tried, uh, remembering happier days to drown the anxiety of uh, growing within. But all she could remember were her times with Yosuke. That's okay. That's okay. The more she remembered all those fun times and happy occasions, the more mercilessly the fear of losing him tore at her. I can't protect the ones I love. That's cute. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. Snip, 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 stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Anako wept on the floor. Wait, wept? At the top... Oh, at the top of her lungs! Okay, I can read. Uh, this is probably the saddest moment of her life. This is probably the scariest moment of her life. I'm begging you! Spare Yosuke, please! Anako closed her eyes and prayed to the goddess from the picture book. I'm sure the goddess can save him. Anako desperately prayed as she cried. Just then, she heard the hatch opening, as if her prayers had been answered. Hey, are you two alright? No? Michael team filled the cockpit in succession. Oh no. Oh no, look at her arms! Look at her arms! For me, it's the opposite. No, I could... After, after they said, like, seeing the happy made her think, like, oh... Of the bad, then I could kind of see that. I could kind of see that. Everybody different. She morphing! <laughs> My favorite part of Beta 6 Deuce was when she looked when Hanako looked at the camera and said, I'm quit swallowing, and then she can swell it all over the place. Um oh, you're finally here. I was worried you'd never come. Please, you have to hurry. Save you again, quick! Hanako got up and clung to the medical officer. He screamed in surprise and kicked her away with all his might. Wait, what's up with your body? Why doesn't he think that she's also injured because of that? Like, I feel like a medical professional should not kick someone away. <laughs> oh no, maybe I'm the crazy one. Uh? Anako immediately checked her own body. The lights revealed her arms were stained pitch black. Bizarre, dark red markings covered her all over, um, wriggling in sync with her accelerated heart rate. What is this? I don't know what any of this is! Don't give me that! You're not a Consuelo, are you? Oh. Consuelo? <gasps> Why does the medical team have guns? <laughs> the medical team all pointed their guns at Hanako. You're wrong! I'm not a Just forget about me and save Yosuke already! Healing guns. It's like GBO2. Hanako gripped the man's arm with all her strength. Oh gosh, she's gonna break his arm, isn't she? Medical officers all fired at Hanako at that moment. No. She fe we still don't know about Moe either! <laughs> she fell to the floor after taking several bullets. Aniko was quickly tied up and violently dragged out of Suda? What the heck? Yeah, bye.
item. Man, I want to find out more, but I think we have to stop here. <laughs> ah! He should have, but I guess he didn't anticipate that, like, this would happen. Wolf can't know everything. The start of a new episode. Micro to macro. <laughs> Save. Overwrite. Yeah, it's a very dun 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 moment. Dun dun dun. Okay. Okay. To give it no. I mean, Hanako's still alive. We don't actually know what the the bullets did to her, but she couldn't swallow so. Humanity's enemy! Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not Hanako. Surely not. Surely not! They're going into the soul camp! That's a different game! That's a different game! I don't. I don't. I feel like Hanako would, would give herself up as a, to be a bullet for the soul cannon, though. I feel like that's definitely. That would ha totally happen. Man, man, now we're, 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 we so much, we keep ending at suspenseful points. How do they do this to us? Why do they do this to us? Done in again? Well, how do you mean? Our MC from the first game had the potential to become Hanako? Maybe. I'm wondering if it's because like... OG Hanako wasn't ready? Like, I feel like... The OG... The Hanako was a K. Like, she wasn't... I don't know, old enough or something? <laughs> she didn't have enough power or something. But now she has enough power for some reason. Uh... So, so she she's able to, like... Turn other people into her. She's able to birth little Hanako's. <laughs> Today, we started today as a cat. This devil, yeah, right. The Adam soup has been stewing. It's almost ready. It's almost ready. I like it. That anytime you call something soup, I'm there. I'm, I'm. And soup is such a good word. It, it, it feels nice to say. <laughs> soup. 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 Anyways. Let's go and buy my screen. We did well today, guys. We did well today! <laughs> we figured out why we were a cat. And man, was it weird. <laughs> Yay! Primordial soup, or why we're Hanukkah. Yeah, that's true. We were we were Hanako. We weren't a cat. We were Hanako. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> yes. Oh my god. Beta six, dudes. It's get, it's getting good. It's getting good. We're jumping on to white base. I wonder if there's anywhere that says how many chapters there are. Like, if this isn't the final chapter, I feel like there's like one more. It, it feels it feels very endy. <laughs> Right, right, right. We're we're getting we're getting we're getting there. Eighty chapters. That'd be that'd be a very long game for an indie. <laughs> Semi indie. We should be close. Yeah, it feels it feels like we're getting everything. Um, like we're learning. Like Hanako's finally broken through as like Consuelo powers. Um. Like, we finally seen that in full. We saw a cat go through Consuelo Hanako powers! <laughs> so, Susan, I'm not ready to go through? Look at this. Look at this guy. He he peeks through the books. He peeks through the books. Are you... Is anybody here the kind of person that, um... 
reads the last page of a book before they fin like before they even start the book. <laughs> I, I don't know if I, I feel like I've heard of people that do that. But I I don't think I ever could. I don't think it makes much sense if you do that. I used to, but now I don't. No, I learned the right way to read manga. <laughs> and anime. I'm telling you. I feel like I, I used to try it, but then I was like, I get nothing out of this. Like, it doesn't make sense. And it doesn't give me like, oh, well, let's see how it can make sense. Because it's just like, it's it's gibberish to me. <laughs> Especially if the last page is like half a paragraph. It's nothing. Nothing. Anyways, anyways, let's see. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Next stream is Operation Rubra. Operation Rubra. You guys, you guys will have many choices. Many choices. Many fun things planned ahead. Will you... Will you survive? Will you survive the tears of time? <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have Fuga. We have Fuga this weekend. Oh, you will... You will not be. I guess it depends. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder it will not be. Oh, Otto will be. <laughs> I should at the very end of this campaign we should have a, we should have everyone roll to see if they survive. Like, everyone will be a single brain cell in, in LEB Dornian and then or LEJ Dornian and then <laughs> you have to see if you can survive. <laughs> uh but yeah, so this weekend we have Operation Ruba and Fuga. Operation Fuga. <laughs> Fuga Operation Melodies. <laughs> Brain cells get purged! That sounds... That just sounds like... What is it? All those animes where the characters lose their memories? Um... <laughs> it's like, in order to pilot the spec, I must give up my memories! And then they die, because they lost all their memories. Even though that's not how it works at all. <laughs> But until next time, whether it's Operation Fuga or 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 um wait. Oh no, I did the thing. <laughs> I mixed up Operation Rubra or Fuga. Melodies of Steel. Um Or you know, maybe some sometime next week. Maybe you're busy this weekend. You're gonna join us during the weekday. Until then. Let's give me. Let's give me. Uh, Ki me <laughs>